Good morning, everyone. My name is Anna Anders. I'm I'm the founder, uh, one of the founders of ForGlobalPeace.com. I say that because many people help to find ForGlobalPeace.com. I mean, ask all the deceased uh, people that have been killed because of political lies, um, corporate lies, and globalist greed and evilness and cover up. Okay, throughout history. So the, ask all those people, and they'll tell you. I mean, if you can bring them back. From, from death to life, I'm sure they will tell you. Um, so anyways, but the reason for my video this morning here is because I've been contemplating and meditating upon uh, what it is to be a truther and why it is that we truthers want the truth. So, I mean, I just want to give a shout out to everyone, <laughs> everyone out there on Facebook. Don't you want the truth? Don't you want the, em the emotional and financial and spiritual and religious and political and corporate truth don't you want that for yourself i mean that's all that truthers want we want the truth and the truth is we've been lied lied to throughout history so you can google and youtube 911 truthers and see what comes up um, but the truth is we all have been lied to about a lot of political and corporate events uh, throughout history that was fabricated and manifested by the 1% parasitical globalist elite. I got to get going because my granddaughter is going to be coming soon, but I just wanted to give a shout out to people and just share my thoughts with you this morning here. Um, so humbly, we are trudging here at home, Carrie and I, with trying to make these peace flags. Um, and we can see on all sides that uh, we are being sabotaged, you know, we're being sabotaged and then the 1% the parasitical Illuminati elite is playing their little games as usual. So, um, and they get to pull the strings on us American people because they own Main Street media. So, you know, and I don't care how many presidents walk out of the White House or Trump Tower for that matter and tell us and tell us that we need to listen to certain media. That's not true. That's not the, that's not the uh, original reason that journalism was made. So uh, right now, what it is is we're waking up, politically speaking, and so they wanna they wanna play us and they wanna say to us what they want to say to us. But see, God gave me a mouth individually here. My parents taught me to speak, so um, that's what it is. I'm speaking. I'm speaking up and out, up and out, and 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 no more, no more lies. I'm gonna uh. I'm going to load up some of the pictures that I said about the Rand McNally um, historical book. Hold on a second. So, matter of fact, here it is. I, um, I just, I, I got this the other day, but I want to just show you just for an example of Africa and all the natural uh, resources that are, that are there, that have been there all along from Sacred Mother Earth that she gave birth to. So here in the United States, we have the same thing. Okay, and if you guys remember the gold rush days in Southern California and uh, out in Arizona and stuff, I mean, these are deposits that are in, within, buried within Sacred Mother Earth. So in some ways, I wonder to this day if they're being hush-hush upon it all. Um, you know, some people could say the gold rush days are over, but honestly, do you think they're really over? Or is it just uh, that some people have been very good at... Um, covering up and, and hiding out with certain things. Because I know once upon a time when I was living in Flagstaff, I want to say this, um, there was a big explosion down in Sedona. So, like underground, it was like almost like an earthquake. They even said that Sedona had an earthquake. That's what I think it was. And I thought, Sedona having an earthquake? This is so strange. So strange and so far-fetched. The other thing I want to say right now is... Um, I want to give a shout out to the Haiti incident with the earthquake out to Haiti. So I want to know, has there ever been any recorded earthquakes with Haiti prior to the the large scale, the massive earthquake that took place to de devastate Haiti? I want to know that because if not, people, we need to do our research and look into EMP because EMP technology can cause a massive earthquake, okay? Trust me, it can happen. Um, they also did a test of it in Flagstaff, Arizona, and I believe it was on a Sunday evening, and we were all, well, most people were getting ready for bed, but um, I was at work that night, and I got to tell you, my coworker and I, the living room couch and chairs, they shook, and the walls of the house, we were in an actual house, home, uh, shook. 
So uh, we were working at a residential home for a company there in local Flagstaff. But at home, at my home in Flagstaff, Arizona, my other half said the walls of the mobile home just rattled and shook, you know, and it came from top down. So when, you know, and there's a d distinct difference between an earthquake that comes from the, from the ground up, but this was top down. So that's EMP when um, the atmosphere is being attacked. So the distinct difference, if you will. So people, we need to look into it. And I got to tell you, look, at, look, just look at the geography. Look at the geography. And I'm starting to look at that. Um, yeah, please look at the geography of our world. But look where Haiti is, Cuba is. Um, and it's just south of Florida. You know, and those gangster, Purple Mafia, Illuminati, gangster thugs, corrupt thugs from corrupt Israel, they love claiming everything. They, they wanted to claim Cuba. They wanted to claim Haiti. And Puerto Rico, too. Puerto Rico, too. So you're always going to get uh, other political reasons why something's happening. You know, they blame uh, a story over here. Okay, they blame a story over here so they could do something over here. You know, behind the scenes. And they're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell us, okay? They're not going to tell us, the United States, or uh, people from local to global. They're never going to tell us when they're up to shady shit. You know, they're going to create these false flag boogeymen and blame it on them and then have to pull out the guns and bullets and dig out some more uranium out of sacred.